It's gonna fail here. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. And is the Model 3 gonna go round it? Oh my God, it's done it. Guys, it just did that itself. We've got more cars. It's going around cars on its own in the fog. Some tighter corners here now. Whoa, okay, the car has aborted. But I just wanna confirm that it is actually still driving. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing really well. Today we're gonna to be doing a, kind of an extreme weather test. As you can see ahead of us, we have got a cloud that is so low, uh, we've got some incredible freezing fog coming up. So I thought we'd see how the autopilot system handles the freezing fog, whether it makes any difference at all or whether it's you know exactly the same. I have realized we've just had this pop up. E-Cool emergency call system needs service. I've never seen that before, never heard of it. Let me know in the comment section if you know what it means. Uh, we're gonna cruise at 40 to begin with and just see how the car deals with it. All the cameras and sensors are clean. Uh, I'm just gonna do my window again for you guys there so it's nice and clean. And you can see here as well, it is getting the double lines, so it is noticing that there's double lines in the center. And we've got roughly probably 30 meters visibility, then it goes completely fogged like it's completely completely fogged but you can see it's actually seeing these cars quite well so that's good let's speed it up a little bit so let's see where it sees this van okay a little bit late but yeah it does see it there and it looks slightly delayed actually yeah definitely slightly delayed and what i have noticed is that the lines are just bobbling left and right a little bit more than they normally would do normally they would sit quite firm following these lines but it seems to be just questioning them maybe a little bit more Oh wow, it really is getting foggy up ahead of us. Like this is incredibly foggy. But the car's having no problems with it. Now we've got our first corner coming up. So normally it does this corner quite well, but it does do a little bit of a break. Oh wow, God, it, it's trying to go fast. Yeah, no way, that was not going around that corner. I had to take control of it. Uh, otherwise, I think it was just going too far into the dirt. So we're coming up with some... Tr oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay. Uh, right. Wow, wasn't expecting that. So I was about to say we're about to come up to some traffic here. But the car... The car decided it didn't like the fog. Right, let's try that again. Okay, we're back onto it. Oh, it's going up to 60 now. Let's slow that down. That's very interesting though. I'm not sure what stopped it there working. Um, I, I, I guess obviously it's just the fog, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Got some tight corners coming up here. Is the car gonna be able to deal with it? No problems. Yeah, look at that. That dealt very, very nicely with that. Got another tight corner here as we go around. Then we swoop over a bridge which the car sometimes has troubles with, but it can do it. And I'm intrigued to see if it's gonna do it today in the fog. I think if I'm being honest, because of the cars in front, we should be able to do this. So I'm gonna set this to two distance from the car in front. <clears throat> but currently we're not catching it up anyway because we're all going 30. Wow, this is incredible. It is so bright and so foggy. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but I mean, there's not much to pick up, that's the point. How's it gonna deal with this corner? Okay, it's braking quite hard, but it has gone around the corner well, and you know, it's kept the similar distance. That did pretty well there. And the car in front stopping. Okay, here we go. We've got some cyclists. These guys are nuts to start off with, but I just wanna see what the car is gonna do with said cyclists. It is pulling in behind them, and yeah, it is definitely stopping behind them here. So that's really good for cyclists. And obviously it won't overtake the cyclists or anything right now. Oh my God, that car behind. Ooh, as two police cars came past as well, uh, the van behind me was pretty close <laughs> to squeezing past those cyclists. So we're actually going into the city center now or we're heading to the city. This is insane. This should be completely clear fields, by the way, all of this, but it's not. It is complete fog. But 
but the car's doing really nicely with it still. And except for that one abortion we had, it seems to be really quite confident. So we're coming to a complete stop now and the car leaves a pretty substantial gap, but not too much. That's, a, that's, that's an all right gap to be totally fair. And now what's it gonna do? We're gonna have cars just kind of appear on the edges of the road now, uh, like this car, for example. And is the Model 3 gonna go around it? Oh my God, it's done it. Guys, it just did that itself. We've got more cars. It's going around cars on its own in the fog. What? This is the first time it's ever done that. Okay, that was, that was really good. So it's going a little bit wavy across this road, if I'm being honest. But the road is wide and the lines on the road are rubbish. Oh, okay, the car's, yeah, it's still navigating all this nicely. It did that properly and correct. And now we're pulling up to some traffic lights. Let's see what it does at the traffic lights. I'm assuming it's gonna go straight up. It takes a little bit of a while to pick up uh, following the car in front. I do wish it started a little bit quicker. Uh, let's see where it's gonna go here. It is following the, the oh, okay, it's aborted. It was following the, the Chrysler in front, but then as soon as we got to that tight bit of the junction, it decided to abort, which is a little bit strange. Uh, and now it's not wanting to pick, there we go, it's picked back up here. So this is interesting as well because this has some speed bumps on it on this road and you can see, for example, uh, this Chrysler in front going a lot, lot slower over them. And the Tesla is following in its footsteps, so it is slowing down for each bump, but it doesn't do that on its own, trust me. I've done this bit without um, a car in front and it does go full pelt at all of the speed bumps. So it needs some kind of hump detection and if it could do pothole and maybe small item on the road detection, that'd be pretty cool because it has sometimes like driven over a dead bird on the road, which I would like it to avoid, for example. But it's doing pretty well here. And again, we're going into the city center. So there's a lot more things about, a lot to watch out for. This actually might be the worst fog we've had. This is really, really bad here. But what I wanna go is somewhere that has slightly less road markings or not quite as good road markings. And we're gonna go a little bit faster. So we're gonna go back onto one of the 50 roads over here and see how it deals with it. Because I'm intrigued to know what actually happened before and why, why did it, why did it abort out of, out of the blue? It's definitely making more movement and changes and kind of, um, I guess, yeah, changes in direction than it normally does. Uh, okay, this car's coming across and my car decided to brake pretty hard, but again, the safe thing to do. And as we come up to this roundabout here, I'll take back control and we're gonna go right. Here we go, so this is insanely foggy down here. Absolutely insanely foggy. So we'll just let the car drive itself and see again, what is the issue? Why does it sometimes abort? Or why did it that one time abort, I guess? Some tighter corners here now. Whoa, okay, the car has aborted, but I just want to confirm that it is actually still driving. So it did still drive all of that as it was aborting. So it was still driving me around the corner and stuff. Again, uh, not, I'm assuming because it couldn't quite see the lines around the corner, but that did happen quite, well, I don't know, quite quickly out of the blue. Um, but yeah, interestingly enough, it was still steering us around the corners and now it's happy to take control again. Whoa, okay. Uh, that was, again, completely random. That seemed fine, no problems, but we had a big abortion. Always sounds weird when I say that, but 
Yeah, it aborted again. Let's turn it back on. So I think going forward from here, I'm probably not gonna use autopilot in the fog just yet. Um, mainly because I have no idea when it's going to abort on itself. But I've got to be totally honest, it's still done pretty well. Except for the times where it's completely failed. You've got to understand that this is a beta, it's going to fail here. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it, it fails. Yeah, it, it's definitely, it's definitely some of these patches of fog are just too much. And the car seems to have a, a little bit of a freak out. Is it? Okay, it's going to allow me to do it one more time. I think it might be where the sun is so bright. Like here, the sun is incredibly bright. But as I say that, it hasn't aborted and it's doing the corner, it's doing the road with no problems. Oh, okay, we're having a little bit, it did a little bit of an on off there. Doing okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna up it to 50 though. Not until we're around these corners. So it did see the cones there, interestingly enough, um, which is quite good. So it was picking up some cones. I'm expecting it to abort. Yeah, there we go. You can see, you can see. So I think with the fog, uh, the very harsh light that's coming in from our right-hand side and the lack of clear road uh, lineage, I think that's what's causing the biggest issue here is that combo. Again, like I say, I've never had it abort down here before on me. So this is completely new for it to abort down here. Right, so the lines are back and it should again say that we can autopilot again. Oh, it's not actually, it's not this time. Oh, there we go. No, okay, back off. There we go, okay. And we've actually come out of the fog. I think we're going up and over the cloud there. We're just like popping our heads over the cloud. And now that we're out, look how clear it is. It is absolutely crystal clear now that we're out of the fog and the car's doing really well. So let's just push it to the max until the next roundabout or whatever and check it at 50, 60, sorry, on these roads. Even saw that cone back there that I didn't see. So again, that was nice and impressive. Yeah, it's doing really well. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below. And until next time, don't forget, drive safe.